Hey everyone, so I'm going to do a pre-plan today, my Avalon and Ninth Planner, using this uh, new kit from the Scrappy Fox. Uh, it's the Gringotts kit. I actually just filmed um, an unboxing of this kit, so I'm not going to go in super detail, plus I'm going to be, you know, using it. Sorry, you hear my dog scratching. Um, so it's the full boxes, washi, more date covers and functional, and then a bunch more functional. So that's the four page kit. And then you can add on deco and washi. And that would make up the six page kit. And then you can add on these uh, quarter sheets. So you have functional doodle boxes. You have all these functional tracker boxes, all of these icons, and then all kinds and date dots and all kinds of scripts. So we're just gonna go ahead and get right in. This is the new kit format for the Scrappy Fox. Um, and so I really wanted to pre-plan this for you guys and get into it and get it up while the TPC sale was still going on. So you had time to order it if you wanted. So let's see, next week is May 10th on the Monday. And I'm really sorry if you hear my dogs behind me. Um, they are little weirdos. They want to just go outside and bark. At least our older one does, Sable. She just wants to go outside and bark at things. And that's not exactly something that I'm sure our neighbors would enjoy. So I'm telling her no. She's not happy with me. But then we have the puppy who's sitting here trying to play with her and she's, Sable is just my grumpy old woman. She does not enjoy the puppy plays. So, oh well, it is what it is, right? Do, do, do. Okay, so we're gonna get the date covers down. And so this is on her new paper. It is so soft and smooth. I love it so, so much. Um, this one wasn't cut perfectly. Maggie, put the shoe. Okay, my puppy's taking shoes, so I need to go deal with that. Just a moment, sorry about that. Um, we also got a brand new puppy last week, Thursday, and she likes playing with my daughter's shoes. Um, you know, she's a toddler, she's got small shoes, so I guess they're just easier for the puppy to pick up and carry. I don't know what her fascination with them is. I'm really, really excited about this kit, and I mean, since I'm using it now, I'm probably going to just go ahead and order myself another one. Because, yeah, just to have. Use later. What, baby? If you hear her whining now, the puppy's whining and wants to go outside. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to pause again and let them outside. I'm sorry for all the interruptions. That's life with a puppy, right? It's a good thing she's cute. She's super sweet, too. But... Okay, let's see, there's Sunday. Okay, I'm gonna let the old lady and the puppy outside and hopefully they don't bark at everybody. Sorry about that, I am back. Um, they went outside and just immediately plopped down in the sunlight on the deck. And I wonder sometimes if my old lady dog is more of a cat because she just loves being outside in the sunshine. I guess some dogs like that too. So, who knows? So I'm putting these washi strips down along the top here, leaving a little bit of room for my weather. Um, so I know I've mentioned in previous videos, oh, I don't have my, oh, I do have a size tool. Okay. Um, I know I've mentioned in previous videos that I use like headers and whatnot and I track the weather up top there just 
so I have an idea of what the week's gonna look like, so I just kind of know what kind of activities we can do that week. Like, should I make my errands day early in the week or later or whatever? Like, what day would be good to go to the park? All that sort of stuff. Wow, okay, so I'm trying not to cut the planner here. Okay, there it is. So like, I know I'm cutting the sticker. I know I am. And I think this side was a little bit long too. Do, do, do. It's just a tad bit and it shouldn't bother me, but it probably will. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. After I already stuck it down, you know. Okay, there we go. Good job. Now, I hadn't been doing the bottom washi the last few spreads, but that's just so cute. I can't not do it. Okay, it's going to be a little bit long, so I'll do it this way, which makes sense that it'll be a little bit long. I should have thought of that because, you know, the thin strips were a little bit long, but I mean, I just don't think that way all the time. I should have laid it down the way I was thinking I was going to. Okay, I'm not gonna press down on that side. So this sticker paper, this new sticker paper that the Scrappy Fox is using makes it a lot easier to pull the stickers back up. But this is an, it's not an older Avalon and Ninth Planner. I got it just um, earlier this year but it's not the brand new and fancy with um, the heavier paper that she just came out with. So that's, so it's not, the, this paper isn't quite as forgiving. And I almost got myself a new seven by nine with the new uh, dividers with tabs and the uh, new heavier paper but I am only maybe three months into this planner and I just couldn't justify it um, as much as I love I would love having the new paper and all the updates and everything I mean I really am only in my third month in this planner because I started here in March and there's just, there's so much more room. I mean, I have all this to go and I, I really do love the planner. Um, so I don't really see the need to get a new one right now. I'm thinking though, I'm definitely going to get a new one for next year. Um, I'll probably get it to start in January. So I'll probably get it like around, um, like Black Friday time during those sales. Yeah, that's the plan anyway. Let's see. So this box is a little bit smaller than those lines were. So I wetted out a few of those. And I think, honestly, I wanna use, I think I wanna use one of these dividers here. There's some over here too, I know, on one of these other sheets, oh yeah. There's some of these sheets too. I think I'm gonna use the brick one because it's, you know, the building right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Bump that right up there. Okay. And then I'm gonna look for, yes, this sheet and see is there a like important or, okay, so I see a to do. Um, yeah, we're gonna do the to do one. What did I do with my tweezers? Here they are. Okay, and then. I'm gonna put a few of these down here. Do, do, do. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna skip a little. 
little space too. Oh no. Okay, there we go. So these little individual dots are like my favorite thing in all of these kits. They're so versatile. You can use them anywhere. You can use, I mean, I guess you can use them as deco if you wanted. You can like, I'm using them here in the sidebar. You can use them in the weekly spread for to-dos. I also like using them in my daily spread for like, um, whatchamacallit, um, I'm drawing a blank now. Oh, for my top three. That's right. I'll use those to mark my top three. Okay, I'm going to do these. So I want to put down two habit trackers. And these are new to her kits. I think they're just so stinking adorable. And then, do I wanna do, no, I don't wanna do that one. I'm gonna use this one. And then, I don't know. Sorry, the paper's sticking a little bit. Like the edge of it sticking a little bit. Like the sheet didn't want to cut or something. There we go. Got it. I just had to pick up from the correct edge. I was going to say the right edge, but yeah, that was the right edge. Okay, let's see how much space I have down here. Okay, and then I'll put the little header part there. So these are going to be for naps, but I don't have a nap script. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this down, I'm going to put a header, and I'll pull from someplace else. Okay. And then one of these nice purple and gold headers. with me. Okay, let's grab another one because that one doesn't want to cooperate with me very well. Oh, you know what I just thought I can do? I can use some of this washi here. Since I used the brick there, I can use more of it down here. If it's going to come up, the sheet just really didn't want to cut. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's fine. I'm not going to use that part. Do, do, do. And then I'm going to grab um, some scripts. And I think they're in the back of this one. Let's see. There's today's. Yes, snaps. Now these will come up. There we go. Now, let's see, what all do I have going on this week? I know I have a meeting on Thursday. I know I have something going on Sunday. Other than that, I don't really have much going on. So, let's see, I think I'm gonna wanna use the this double box for the weekend. I think I'll actually put it down here. I'm gonna change it up a little bit, or do I not? Oops, or do I want to keep it up there? Yeah, I'll put it up here. I'll do something a little different. Well, not going to do it different. Let's see. Do 
there's one. And two. Okay, and then let's see. I'm kind of thinking about putting this double box down here on Monday and Tuesday, and then just kind of scattering throughout the rest of the week. Or I could not, and I could just use some of these and save that for another spread. I don't know. Because I have these full boxes here too. Oh, I think I might actually use one of those over here to mark that event. Oh, this is the hard part. I don't know. Yeah, I think I am gonna put this double box down here on Monday and Tuesday. I don't normally do that sort of thing, but we'll give it a try. I don't know, I usually just keep my double boxes for the weekend because it kind of sets it apart. But I don't, I don't know, I don't really mind doing that. Yeah, yep, that works for me. Okay, so I'm gonna need to put down work things, work boxes, and then I'm gonna need to put down, let's see, there's that. Oh, you know what I'm gonna use? I have some new scripts over here. So these are from the Scrappy Foxes monthly bundle. And it's that gold holographic foil. It just, I think, works well here with the gold, with the Gringotts money theme, you know, it works. Now, do I want them all to be the same? Or am I gonna shift it around a little bit? Um, let's move it around a little bit. Okay, so Monday, we have the work and then we have whatever to do's I'm gonna have to do and then we have meals I think I'm gonna have to take a break because it sounds like my daughter's getting up let me find real quick a sticker for meals to plan dinners and then I think I'm gonna have to stop and come back and finish later let's color to use. I don't know why, but I really kind of like this tealy color here. Although this purple would match really well with the purples in the kit. Okay, we'll do the purples. Okay, there's dinner. And then I know on Tuesday, I'll need to put dinner down as well. Feed the peoples. I'll do, don't want that too close to it. So I'll do this here for work. So my daughter hasn't decided she's getting up yet. So I'm gonna finish a few things first. And then I think I'm gonna do one up top. I think this kind of goes with the whole lobby thing, so we'll do this one. All right, and then we'll do another work. And then we'll do another meal. Put that right here. Leave a little space at the bottom for something. Let's see, Thursday. Um, yeah, we'll, I guess, start at the bottom and work our way up. Thursday, I know I have a meeting. And then, I think that's it. It's just the meeting. on Thursday. So 
We'll do another work here. And then, um, I could do this, or I could do, oh, you know what I can do? Sounds like my daughter has decided to be up. Do your kids ever do that? I mean, those of you with kids, do they go back and forth as to whether they want to be up or not? I mean, I do it all the time. You know, I wake up, I'm like, oh, it's not time to be awake yet. I don't want to be awake yet. And so I go back to sleep. And then there's, you know, times where I'm like, oh, I guess I have to be up. That's kind of where she's at. She does, but she doesn't want to be up. Okay, I'm going to layer that on top. And then... Um, I have the appointment. Do I have a meeting one on here though? I don't think so. Nope. I can use the appointment though. That works for me. And I can write down what it is. And we need a meal. Right there. Let's see. And then on Friday, we're going to need another meal. Okay, uh, welcome back everyone. So it is the next day um, from when I initially filmed this and I ended up just going ahead and doing the rest of it off camera because I had some serious issues with my phone last night um, trying to record video. So I just got it done and wanted to quickly show you the result. Um, so this is the Gringotts kit once again, from the Scrappy Fox, um, and the scripts are also from the Scrappy Fox, but from the May Be Happy bundle. This, um, this kit and the bundle are both in the shop right now as of when this video goes live, um, and the bundle is not discounted. The bundle is $25, but the kit is discounted 30% right now during the TPC sale. And if you include my code, which is included down below, you also get my freebie. So that's quite exciting, you know, extra freebies. Um, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed seeing, you know, the new kit formats from the Scrappy Fox. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.